Hello everyone, it's Starfire and Flip here, and welcome back to another episode of Halo Combat Evolved. And um, welcome to the second mission. We just made it off the pillar of Ardaman, crash landed into the ring. This mysterious uh, ring world called uh, Halo, apparently, but yes, the name says. I kind of messed uh, something up. Okay, this is my second time recording this uh, video because I accidentally deleted the one I already did. So, um, yeah, at the time of this recording, I already have like mission one and mission three uh, recorded. And I had this recorded until I deleted the video by accident. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm redoing this again for the second time. So, um, good job, me, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's just uh, jump straight into it and let's see what happens. So, um, yeah. So, good luck me. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you alright? Can you move? I uh, sure can move. And, uh... Yeah, you may notice that some things look a little bit different. Because I changed uh, some settings. Like, uh, sp specifically my crosshair is a bit lowered. And yeah, you can play uh, you can play a centered crosshair or lowered crosshair. I actually played now with lowered crosshair. And my weapon position is also a little bit different. And that's one of the neat things you can do with MCC is you can uh, if you go to gameplay like over here you can like enable like crosshair and weapon moves a little bit with it. But you can also change your weapon offset like for example you can make the gun like further away or closer by as you want. So you can do some neat features to make the make your V model actually look right on how you prefer it. Okay, there's gonna be a, a bunch of enemies over there in a bit with a dropship, so, um, yeah, I kinda want to fight that to get a plasma pistol off to get to, to deal with the elites a bit easier. So I just need to wait for the dropship to uh, come in. Alright, there it is, there's the dropship. It's gonna drop up some Covenant. And we're going to kill him. Alert. Covenant dropship inbound. They must be looking for survivors. I recommend immediate evasion. Oh, so, oh shut up, Gratan. It's fine. Right. That thing is gonna drop off a couple of guns and I think like one or two elites. But I do want to keep my distance a little bit because that thing can shoot at you. But I might be able to snipe some enemies out of it. Well, not if I'm gonna hit the wall because, uh, yeah, that's one of the issues with uh, the anniversary graphics system. The, the hitbox, the hitbox of the wall do, do not line up with the anniversary graphics. Gonna keep that in mind, I guess. And anyway, there should be a couple of grunts over here and an elite or two. Come on. It really feels like a bit of RNG on uh, when are the, when, and whenever you get a headshot or not. At least on like grunts. I, know, I don't know. Feels a little bit inconsistent. Like sometimes you like aiming directly at the head and it just does not kill the enemy instantly and other times you're not really aiming for the head and just and, and they kill them and you kill them instantly anyway. Alright, you don't really need to worry about taking damage because there's like health right over here. Alright, Assault Rifle, it's a great gun but it's not really that useful in this mission for the most part because uh, the mission is more open-ended. Oh look, there's a grunt over there. 
You're like, I'm like aiming at his head and it's not, uh, it's not instantly dying. So yeah, I shooting enemies feels really inconsistent, at least uh, to me. But there's probably like, but most likely more of a skill issue, I guess, but I don't know. Oh look, banshees. You can actually take out banshees with pretty much any weapon in this game. Some weapons are a bit, some weapons are a bit better at it than other ones, but you can take out banshees. It just takes a couple of magazines uh, for a pistol to for the pistol to take out the banshee. I know that does not make the pistol overpowered because any gun can uh, destroy vehicles in this game. But some guns do just do a little bit more damage than other ones. Like the best weapon to take out in vehicles is uh, obviously uh, rocket launchers. But you also can get a shotgun later on that can that can also do a great job on killing vehicles, even better than a pistol. But anyway, there's another encounter coming up with an elite, and because I have a plasma pistol now, I can get rid of his shields quite easily. If I can kill this grunt. Okay, there's the elite. Alright, that was a bit that was a bit hard, but oh well, I did it. I did that grunt uh, that. So on high difficulties you really need to like play a bit more carefully. Unless you are speedrunning the game of course, but I'm not speedrunning it. But yeah, that's this encounter done and uh, yeah, that's that. On to the next area. I'm reading a lifeboat beacon over the next hill. You should check to see if there are any survivors. Alright. Oh, well, Grants. I'm gonna take him, take him out, and there isn't a lead on the other side. Might be able to get. There we go, got him. And got a headshot on him. to uh, defeat a bunch of uh, enemy waves of uh, drop it's gonna be like five dropships and uh, yeah it should be pistol ammo over here okay there we go there's also a bunch of help over there but I'm not gonna pick up a health pack right now because I don't really need it oh look there's a new enemy type that's a jackal okay and the jackals can be a little bit annoying to take out, but they do like a bit more of a defensive type infantry than offensive. Okay. Come on. Elitas, elitas sometimes just a pain in the ass to hit. Come on. Can I just kill this jackal please? Okay, there's another dropship coming in. Alright, good. I'm gonna pick up my first half pack now. Oh, do not pick up that ammo though. Alright, another wave of enemies coming. But yeah, should, should, just, these waves should not be too difficult uh, to take out. Okay, there's a couple of guns over there. Alright, got double headshot, that's good. I think there's an elite coming. No, that's a grunt. No, he went away. Alright. Okay, there's something coming uh, from underneath. And hello, elite. Alright. Like I said, elites are uh, sometimes really tricky to hit because they just sometimes refuse to stand still. Annoying little bastards. 
Uh, that's not needle. That's not really that uh, useful. Oh no, Johnson died. I wonder. I wonder if he stays dead. My right, plasma rifle can also be decent, I guess, against shields. But I would prefer a plasma pistol to do the overcharge. It can do. Okay, there's another lead over there. Like an overcharged plasma sh pistol shot does strike an enemy, like it homes in on an enemy, but it does not really have a strong uh, homing in ability. At least from sh for at least at least when you at least something up up close, like. But if you like using a weapon that can home in from far away, then the enemy can dodge it like a little bit, a little bit more difficult. Yeah. I mean, up close. I mean, up close. I probably shouldn't really use the overcharge shot that much because it's just not gonna hit anything if the elite just keeps moving. They okay, got two elites, red and blue. The red one, the red ones are slightly stronger than the blue ones in terms of shields, but other than that, they are pretty much they are they be pretty much the same. Okay, that didn't strike at all, but that missed. And that hits. Okay, I think I got him. And I think this should be the, the last. Okay, there's an lead right over there. Alright. He was stunting me, so that was good. Okay, he got blown up. Alright, alright, so far so good. Yeah, Marines uh, do die because they die pretty fast in this game. You cannot really rely on them. That's it? No, there's a jackal over there. Alright, and that was that. That was a pretty decent uh, wave fight actually. Only picked up like one mad kit for that whole encounter. That was pretty good. But you do get a sni- you, you can pick up a sniper uh, later on as well. In the mission. And that will make uh, some things a bit easier. Because oh. a, sniper a sniper is a lot more powerful than a pistol. Against uh, elites. I feel that it's already- I feel that the snipers are a bit of a waste on guns. Because uh, they kill them instantly anyway, but for elites uh, they are a bit, they are a bit more they are more worthy to use. Okay, All right. Let's see how many survivors do we have. Because I do want a passenger, just for fun. Okay, that's one survivor. Only one, only one marine survived. Ready to roll. Holy shit! Only one survived. I mean, they they die so fast in this game. It's just uh, ridiculous how fast they die. Protecting the protecting them is al is almost impossible. So yeah. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. I've hacked into the Covenant Battle Network. You're actually broadcasting tactical data on unencrypted channels. We should show them who they're dealing with. Master Chief, I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. I almost messed that up, but oh well. I mean, they're just like, they're just like around the halfway point of the mission. So we are about to start, we are actually about to enter the second half of the mission. Oh uh, yeah, and Warthog can, and the Warthog can insta-kill pretty much any enemy. Because uh, it's splattering damage, it's splattering damage is so ridiculously strong. It, it can kill like the toughest enemy with just one uh, little hit. One little tap. Slightly hit, yeah. 
Just gonna get rid of these enemies. Come on. Yeah, that's is not that is why I want to take out Guarns because the plasma grenades can be a big threat. But I just took a bunch of damage. That could have been avoided. And plasma nades uh, pretty much instantly drain your shields too when you get hit by it, no matter how far you are away, because they deal EMP damage. And they and I guess they can also potentially insta kill you if you like directly on it. Okay, but do I? Oh, that's bad. Okay. Yeah, that's. Okay. Well, the gunner is fine. The, the gunner they barely took any damage. So that's impressive, I guess. All right, there's gonna be two uh, red leads right, right, right up here. So uh, let's blow a plasma nade up there, and and then we'll take them out. That was good. And now we need to activate uh, the light bridge to uh, move across, yes. and so we can enter the second half of this mission, which is rescuing a bunch of marines. So yeah, that's that. And you can take a little shortcut uh, down over here. So, yeah. So far this mission is going pretty well. Didn't die yet, but... I'm not gonna give my hopes up, I guess. Okay, my gunner is still fine. Like, he took he took barely any damage for, from two grenades. Pretty much. I guess that... Maybe he has, maybe he has extra health or something like that. I, I, I don't know. Probably not. There's new traffic on the Covenant Battle Network. A lot more crew made it off the autumn than I had predicted. The captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain Keys and the other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Oh yeah. A shitload of crew uh, made it off the Autumn before it crash landed. I mean, right now the Pillar of Autumn is storm has some crash on the ring. And the Covenant is gonna locate that crash right pretty, uh, pretty uh, soon. Alright, it's time to rescue Marines. Again. But before I do that, I'm gonna grab a sniper rifle. And there's a sniper right over here. Where is it? There you are. Oh, my I, my walk dog is par parked a bit uh, on top of it, so I couldn't pick it up. Oh yeah. Grab pin. Okay, sniper pistol. This should be good uh, for the rest of the mission. I'm hoping I'm not gonna mess up my sniping too much. That's, that would be bad because the sniper is good against leads. Alright, here's the first uh, group of marines I can rescue. I'm just gonna park my hog like over here. And so I can... Snipe this guy. Or snipe them both with one shot, that's good. Snipe this guy. He took two shots though because I apparently did not hit the head. And use uh, like the pistol for the smaller infantry because that's, uh, in my opinion, a little bit of a waste of sniper bullets. Because they die from one shot anyway, and I, and I have plenty of pistol ammo in the first place. Alright. There's a gun up there. That I cannot hit because he's a bit too far away. Okay, there's another enemy up there. Okay, good headshot. Hello, Elite. Bye, Elite. Bye, Jackal. That's a grunt up there. 
Ja, Hedinger, Hedinger had with a pistol from that far away is really difficult and not likely to happen with the pistol. I mean, it, it is accurate, but it has it has its limits, of course. So sometimes it's just like just sh sometimes just shoot his body because it it does decent damage against infantry. I think the pistol does like what twenty five damage per shot, maybe. So that's that. Got a checkpoint though, though that's good. Alright, uh, gotta watch out for more enemy. Gotta be careful of that cliff though. There's a there's the jackals over there. And uh, and the grunts. Oh hello lead. Please hold your fire marine. I want to kill this lead. We should search the interior of those structures before we leave. Okay, you're dead. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Holy shit, dude, dude. Was that from one enemy? No. Damn, we re those guys really like to overcharge the plasma pistols, though. Holy shit. And uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. When you clear all all enemies, the marines should uh, the marines are gonna come out themselves. But you can also get, get, come in there and trigger them yourself. But they come out by themselves if you uh, like, if you uh, clear the area of enemies, and then there should be a like a dropship or something coming. There's another, there's another enemy up there. I do see you. Where are you? Are you like under me? I think you're under me. There you are. Alright. Let's make damn sure this area is uh, clear of enemies. Okay. Marines, I guess I, I guess I need to go down there to get the marines. Got some sweet pistol ammo though, so that's uh, nice. Okay, here they are. Okay, here they are. And I think there's like what one dropship may be coming. And they should come out now. Okay, here they are. Let's, let's see if we can get a passenger. That would be uh, nice. Alright. Alright. Oh, not even a dropship. Okay, that was an easy clear. That wasn't too bad. Alright, let's go. Next area, I'm gonna go over here and it should be the rock uh, slide, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's, the, it's over here. Okay. Okay, can just get rid of these jackals. Just gonna drive around that they're gonna take out the enemies. Gonna actually does a decent job on killing the enemies though. Better than a better better than a passenger, I guess.
Oh, you son of a bitch. Get over here. There's some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. Alright, there's some Marines over here. So careful, careful. Please don't run at don't run at me. Careful, careful. Yeah, you're not dead. Now you're dead. Oh, nice. The war truck is also really great for support fire, though. So yeah, it can give you good covering fire and take out some of the enemies for you. Alright, there's a dropship coming in, though, as well. <laughs> that marine is clipping slightly into the rock because of, like, how the new graphics are. So, yeah, lol. And yeah, also, you, have weapon, you can have weapon skins in single player in this game. And only on the Master Chief Collection, though. Alright. I think that's almost all enemies already. Just a grunt over there. Good. Easy. Okay, the last lifeboat would be the rock slide. Need to find my way out of here. Alright, where was it again? Uh, no, that was the first area. Where would be the rock slide? I think it was a little bit back. I've, is that dropship like stuck? The good news is the captain's still alive. The bad news is that the covenant. Yeah, the dropship is like stuck in the air. Holy shit. Let's hurry and find well, now it goes away. So we can link up with the rest of the survivors. <laughs> Alright, this should be the rock slide. And this should and this in this last uh, group of marines I'm gonna rescue. Alright, War Dog can take out some of the enemies. Yeah, my wind's dying because they die so fast in this game, it's ridiculous. Okay, let's park my hog like right up there. That's what I did last time, and it took out a good chunk of enemies over there too. So yeah, good to them. And I'm going to go into a higher position and give some sniper support, I guess. And there's also a, a sniper up there that can help out. Sniper marines are, are probably like the best uh, marines you can have in this game. Even though they still die fast, they like they they can shoot pretty good, better than assault rifle ones. Like, let's jump on that rock, because that's where the enemies are. And look at that, he's just took out an elite. These damn jackals. Okay, another drop. Just a couple of waves of dropships are coming in, though. What do you have? You probably have like a few leads on you too. The marine is trying to shoot the thing. Let's see. What do you have? Uh, two leads. Let's. That's a bit of bit bad sniping, but oh well, cannot have everything. Alright, he's not dead. Oh, 
Oh wait, not a wave. Oh wait, okay, you're going away. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna get uh, you're gonna get spawned killed by the, by my by my war dog at least. So good luck, uh, dropship. Two leads. All right. I think that's like the last uh, dropship of the mission. Okay, that's a deceased lead. And that's another de deceased lead. Come on, pistol, do your thing. Another dropship. Holy shit. Let's see, uh, another red lead. And a couple of jackals. Alright, that was a good snipe. I might as well use the sniper a little bit now. Because that's pretty much the end of the mission anyway. Alright. This was a pretty good second mission actually. I didn't do much uh, difficult with it. Difficulty with it. Hell yeah. New traffic on the Covenant battle net. I found Captain Keys. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau, roughly 300 kilometers up spin. All right, let's get out of here. There's our ride. Get aboard and let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. Good. Does he? Are you guys also gonna come on the pelican? I guess not. Alright. We should move out, Lieutenant, and then we'll need your help on a rescue mission. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, Halo, the second mission of the game. And, uh, yeah. Well, I'll see you in the third mission, the Truth and Reconciliation. The Truth and Reconciliation. Reconciliation. I don't know if I can say, I don't know if it's said it right, but whatever. But anyway, I see you until then. So, yeah, take care and, well, goodbye.